can you guess the African team Kevin De Bruyne could have played for? It's a surprise twist and we can't wait to see if you can unravel the mystery. In this video, we'll tell you about 15 world class players who could have represented teams at the AFCON. Brace yourself because we have got a lineup that will leave you pondering on the what ifs. Starting off on our list is Eduardo Kamavinga, a talented French footballer with deep roots in Africa, particularly in Congo. Born on November 10, 2002, in Maikong, Kabinda, Angola, Kamavinga's journey to football stardom is marked by resilience and determination. Born in a refugee camp after his family's exile from Congo, young Eduardo moved to France in 2003, first to Lille, then to Fuja, where he spent his formative years. Sports, especially soccer, became his passion. At just 10 years old, tragedy struck. Kamavinga witnessed his home burning down, losing all his belongings. Yet, with the support of his neighbors, the family found a new home and the resident young player continued to pursue his dreams. Excelling in defense and showcasing his skills as a striker, Kamavinga's talents were noticed early on. However, his fate took a different turn when on October 31st, 2019, he obtained French nationality, ending any chance of representing the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Kamavinga was called up to the French senior team in August 2020, becoming the youngest player since 1932 to join the squad. His debut against Croatia in the UEFA Nations League marked the beginning of an impressive international career. So far, Kamavinga has made 13 appearances for the French national team, scoring once. One can't help to wonder, what if he had chosen to play for his ancestral homeland, the Democratic Republic of the Congo? Now let's shift our focus to Jamal Musiala, an exceptional attacking midfielder making waves at Bayern Munich. Born in Stuttgart, Germany, to a Nigerian father and a German mother, Musiala's story is one of cultural diversity and football resilience. Despite spending his youth at Chelsea Academy in England, Musiala moved to Bayern Munich in 2019, making a significant impact early on. Breaking record as the youngest player and goal scorer for Bayern Munich in Bundesliga, he quickly became a rising star with the opportunity to represent Nigeria, England or Germany in the senior team. Musiala ultimately chose to play for his best country, Germany. This decision came after representing England in the junior levels. Making his debut for Germany against Iceland on March 25, 2021, Musiala became the youngest German to feature in a major tournament during Euro 2021. At just 18 years old, 117 days. Fast forward to the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, Musiala at age 19 years and 270 days not only became the fourth youngest Germany player in the World Cup history but also showcased his exceptional dribbling skills, coming close to breaking JJ Okusha's record when he completed 13 dribbles in a single game, just too shy of JJ Okusha's record of 15 in 1994. With 25 appearances and 2 goals for the German national team, one can't help but imagine the impact Musiala could have had if he had chosen to don the green and white of Nigeria. Nigeria would undoubtedly be in the deadliest team at this year's AFCON. Next on our list is Rafael Leo, the AC Milan forward known by the affectionate nickname Raf Blinks. Born on June 10, 1999 in Amanda, Portugal, Leo's journey to football greatness is one filled with perseverance and triumph. Raised in a family of six, Rafael, meaning lion heart, grew up with a passion for football that transcends his humble beginnings. His parents, immigrants from Angola and Sao Tome and Principe, instilled him a sense of strength and determination. Despite facing challenges, including financial struggles, Leo's commitment to his dream led him through the ranks of Sporting Lisbon's youth system. Known for his incredible skills and being the club's youngest scorer against Porto, Leo's journey took a turn when he joined AC Milan, where he scored the fastest goal in Serie A history. With roots in Angola, Leo was eligible to play for the Angola national team until October 2021 when he chose to represent Portugal, making his debut in a friendly against Qatar. In the 2002 FIFA World Cup, Leo made history by scoring crucial goals for Portugal. While their journey ended in the quarterfinals, the impact of Leo's contribution echoed through the tournament. From the streets of Almanda to the grand stage of the international football, Rafael Leo's journey exemplifies the power of passion, resilience, and the unyielding spirit of a lion-hearted player who could have meant even much more to his country of origin, South Africa. A big game player, Mbappe's prowess was on full display at the 2022 World Cup, where he orchestrated a mesmerizing hat-trick in the final, earning him the golden boot. This performance added another chapter to his storied career, reminiscing of his crucial goal in the 2018 World Cup final that secured France's third title. Yet, while Mbappe backs in the glory of the French football, his roots trace back to Africa. Born in Paris to a Cameroonian father, Wilfred, and an Algerian mother of Kibao descent, Ubampe's connection to Cameroon runs deep. His father, however, once claimed that corruption tainted the color process for the indomitable lions. In 2018, Wilfred alleged that a member of the Cameroon FA sought financial gain for Kali 
Ghanaians call up, highlighting the challenges and the corruption prevalent in some African football structures. Kalan committed to his principles, believed that representing one's country should be a privilege, not a paid service. A three-time French player of the year and a top contender for the Ballon d'Or, Mbappe's journey embodies triumph over obstacles. His meteoric rise from becoming the youngest French player to win the World Cup to clinching individual honours underlined not just his talent but also the potential that African players hold. Kevin De Bruyne, a name synonymous with Belgian football excellence, has left an indelible mark on the international stage. Born in Dronen, Belgium, this Man City maestro has nearly 100 appearances for his national team. The Red Devils journey at the 2018 World Cup, where they secured a third place finish, showcased De Bruyne's leadership on the field. In 2023, he took the captain's armband after the retirement of Eden Hazard. However, there is an alternate story that could have unfolded. De Bruyne's mother, Anna, hails from Burundi in East Africa, opening the door for him to represent another nation on the international stage. Burundi ranked 139th in the world, made history by qualifying for the AFCON in 2019. Although they faced challenges, the thought of De Bruyne playing alongside them raises intriguing what-if scenarios. De Bruyne's family were also used to visiting Africa, where his mother, Anna De Bruyne, spent her early years. He spent most of his holidays in Burundi and Ivory Coast, where his family's oil company branches were situated. With deep roots in Africa, De Bruyne could have chosen to wear the jersey of his mother's birthplace, yet he opted for Belgium, where he made his debut in 2010, signaling the beginning of a remarkable international career. As we marvel at his achievements with Belgium, one can help to ponder the impact he could have had. Well guys, it's time to hit the like and the subscribe button before we continue this amazing journey. Known for his attacking prowess and creative flair, Bukayo Saka has become one of the best young players in the world. Born in Elling, Greater London, to Nigerian parents, his journey to football stardom is a testament to his skills and versatility. The Arsenal wonder kid at just 22 has made a significant impact. Starting his youth career at Greenford, Celtic, and later moving to Watford, Saka found his way to the Arsenal Academy. His Premier League debut on November 29, 2018 marked him as the first player born in the 21st century century to play in the league, a record-breaking achievement. Choosing to play for England over Nigeria, Saka dons the Three Lions jersey with pride. With 32 appearances and 11 goals for England since his debut in 2019, he's become a key player. Despite the Swiss, Saka maintains a deep connection to his Nigerian roots, expressing his pride and admiration for the Super Eagles. In an interview with Sky Sports in 2019, Bukayo Saka was quoted as saying, I have seen the process of how England are transforming and I think in the future, they are going to do great stuff. I feel like it was right for me to choose England. Now we turn our attention to Romelu Lukaku, a powerful striker with roots tracking back to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Born in Antwerp to Congolese parents, Lukaku's father Roga played football for Zaria and had a notable career in Belgian football. Roga Lukaku represented Zaria, played football for Zaya and had a notable career in Belgian football. Roger Lukaku represented Zaya, now Congo during their golden age in football, participating in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers and African Cup of Nations in the 90s. After playing for local giants, Vital Sports, and African Sports the Abidjan in Ivory Coast, Roger moved to Belgium in 1990, where he played for several clubs. Romero Lukaku and Jordan Lukaku, following their father's footsteps, chose to represent Belgium on the international stage. While yet to secure a major title, Roman Lukaku played a pivotal part role in Belgium's third place finish in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. I was on the receiving end of huge backlashes after Belgium's early exit in the 2022 edition, having missed four clear court chances in their final group game against Croatia. Our spotlight turns to the skillful forward Memphis Depay. Born to a Ghanaian father and a Dutch mother, Depay had options to represent either Ghana or the Netherlands. He chose the latter, his best country. Memphis made his international debut for the Netherlands in 2013 and quickly became a key player. In the 2022 FIFA World Cup, he scored crucial goals, solidifying his position as the second all-time top scorer for his country. However, the decision to represent the Netherlands was wasn't solely based on football. In a revealing interview, Depay disclosed that he was abandoned by his father as a child, leading him to reject an approach by the Ghana Football Association to play for the Black Stars. Despite this, Depay remains connected to his Ghanaian roots, engaging in the charity projects in the country. His story reflects the complexities of identity, family, and the choices players make on their path to greatness. One can only imagine what would have been if the Black Stars of Ghana, who more often than not flatter to deceive, had a striker in the shape of Mephi is the pay in the team. Now we turn to the young prodigy Ansu Fati, who has left an indelible mark on the football world. Born 
was earning the prestigious number 10 jersey at FC Barcelona, a symbol once worn by the legendary Lionel Messi. But his football prowess is undeniable, characterized by his stocky build, low center of gravity, and ambidextrous shooting ability. His versatility in various attacking positions has made him a force to be reckoned with on the pitch. While Fatu has been making headlines for Spain since 2020, it's essential to know that he originally hails from Guinea-Bissau. Despite representing Spain and becoming the country's youngest ever goal scorer, his roots remain deeply embedded in Guinea-Bissau and Ansu Fati would no doubt have been a regular starter or even the captain of the Guinea-Bissau side had he made the decision to play for the country of his origin. A series of injuries, particularly a significant knee injury between November 2020 and September 2021, slowed Fati's momentum. However, his recent move to Premier League club Brighton and Hove Albion on a season-long loan showcases his resilience and determination to rise even higher in his career. Now let's shift our focus to Afonso Davis, the Canadian left back who graced the 2022 World Cup with a historic goal for his country against Croatia. Born in a Ghanaian refugee camp during the Second Liberian Civil War, Davis faced adversity in his early life. However, his debut for the Canadian team in 2017 marked the end of speculations of him either playing for the country of his birth, Ghana, or the country of his origin, Liberia. It also marked the beginning of a remarkable rise. A key player for Bayern Munich, Davis helped secure the Champions League in the 2019-2020 season, with his iconic dribble against FC Barcelona becoming legendary. Despite Canada's early exit in the World Cup group stage, Davis' goal remains a proud moment for the nation. Next is a gifted midfielder whose journey spans five countries, beginning in Dakar, Senegal, Amado Unana. At just 22 years old, Unana's football odyssey led him to Belgium at the age of 11, where he embraced the challenges of cultural adaptation and weather disparities. His growing talent in football saw him scouted by clubs such as Anderlecht, RWS Bruxelles, Zolt Warehem, and 1899 Hoffenheim during his youth career, paving the way for his entry into professional football. Reflecting on the transformative experience, Onana said, It was a big shock, weather-wise, culture-wise, everything. But obviously, I tried to take as much as I can from both countries, both cultures, and just do a mix a bit. Despite his eligibility to represent Senegal, Onana made a significant decision in May 2022. Named the Belgium senior squad for the 2022-2023 FIFA Nations League matches, he later made his full international debut against the Netherlands on June 3rd, 2022. One can't help but to imagine the impact he could have had donning the vibrant colors of the Teranga Lions. David Alaba, the illustrious left winger, carries an impressive array of trophies and beneath his success lies a connection to Nigeria. Born in Vena to a Nigerian father and a Filipino mother, Alaba's heritage links him to Ogere, where his father is a Yoruba prince and a DJ. While he has claimed over 27 trophies with Bayern Munich, including 10 Bundesliga titles and two UEFA Champions League trophies, Alaba opted to represent Austria. His debut at the age of 17 marked the commencement of his stellar international career, amazing over 100 appearances and 15 goals. Imagine a scenario where Alaba, with his exceptional skills, chose to wear the green and white of Nigeria. The impact he could have had on Super Ego's defenses would have been tremendous, considering it's a position where the Super Egos are so often falling short in recent times. In the thrilling story of the 2022 World Cup, Arelen Chouamini etched his name with brilliance as a defensive midfielder for France. With Cameroonian descent, Chouamini's rapid accent through the ranks has earned him accolades for his outstanding work rate and precise passing. Chouamini was born in Rayon, Normandy, but grew up in Bodu, Gironde. His father was born in Msaba and his mother, Bafang. He acquired French nationality on 19 December 2000 through the collective effort of his parents' naturalization. Though eligible to play for the indomitable Lions, Chouamini made his debut for France in 2021, claiming the title of Linguon Player of the Year for that season. Chouamini's partial awareness, game-reading ability, and knack for breaking through lines solidify his place in both the French national team and at Real Madrid. Picture a scenario where Chouamini, with his exceptional skills, chose to represent Cameroon. The impact of his defensive prowess in the heart of the indomitable Lions midfield could have stared to new heights on the African and global stage. Dembele's ambidexterity transformed him into an unpredictable force, both in his dream bling and his shooting prowess. Its speed star and one of the world's premier wingers, Dembele has been a crucial asset for the Lisbon since his debut in 2016. His dynamic play style played a pivotal role in France's triumphant journey to their third World Cup title in 2018. And yet, beneath the French tricolor, Dembele's roots connect him to Senegal, Mali, and Mauritius. Dembele was born in Venom Air in Normandy. His mother is Mauritanian Senegalese from Wali Deatang, while his father
father is Malian. So until his 2016 debut for the Lisbon, Dembele was eligible to play for Senegal, Mali and Mauritius. Even though one can easily conclude that he made the right decision given the highs the French team has hit in recent years, an average Senegalese cannot but wonder what could have been if they had two exceptional talents in Sadio Mane and Ousmane Dembele flanking their wings. So if you enjoyed the video, kindly click the subscribe button and like, click on the end screen by your left to watch the richest player in Africa.